Hello. It's me, Enz. Still. Uh, I'm back. Back with more cold guy. Uh, it's about 7.31? 7.30 a.m.? 7.31 a.m. On a Friday. Friday's morning. Um... I, I had another late recording on me, so... It might not be a full hour, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But uh, I just ended up that way. Alright, if I'm gonna blog post immediately, we, we better start working on something, right? Uh, we have some food in our hands, so I'm happy about that. Let's process a bit more grass to get this get this stuff going. Oh, I already got grass in there, dude. What do we have in here? Uh, raw bull. Crock pots. Storage vessel. Raw storage vessel. Did I ever make that, uh... Watering can? Did I make that? Do I have it in my hands? I think I gotta make a watering can. I, I don't know if I've made one already. Shoot. Well, let's start working on that. Uh, we have food to survive a couple days, I think. So we'll just start... Wait, what's in here? Watering can. Right in the middle. I bet someone was tearing their hair out. No, 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 you already have... No, no, okay, we, we, I saw it. Um, I think I should make more bowls. Right, I think I should make more bowls. What do I have made already? We got our mission critical molds. Um, I wouldn't mind making a prospecting pick mold. Uh, ingot molds. Ingot molds. Ingot molds. Let's make ingot molds. I think I have that going, right? Let me triple check here. Do I have them in my hands? No. Crockpot. Bowl. Vessel. Vessel. Watering can. Okay. No one can say I didn't check in case I forgot. Right? Um. Anyways, uh. I accidentally did like a, an 11 hour stream yesterday. 11, 10 hour? I think it was around 10 hours. Um. So I'm a bit worn out this morning. Uh. But. I did wear glasses. I'm not used to wearing glasses yet. Um, it did help my vision. I won't say a lot, but it's noticeably better. Right when I take them off, it's like, oh, I live like this. Um, so yay for glasses, I suppose. Uh, they're not so bad yet. It seems like the people that have them hate them. Right, and they end up putting like plastic in their eyeballs or, or glass in their eyeballs or you know, lasers shot into their eyeballs. But um. I had like malformed eyes, dude. I don't have spherical eyes. I got like deformed eyeballs or something. And I got a stigmatism. Uh, right, which kind of bothers me. I I want I forgot to ask. I I, I want to know what shape they are because it bugs me. Right? It's like what are they shaped like? Eggs? Footballs? What's wrong with my eyes, dude? I they don't they look normal from the outside. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I got miss. I got malformed eyes. Don't tell anybody. All right, people find out I have malformed eyes, they're gonna make fun of me. Oh, well, that guy over there. Get a load of this guy. He has non-spherical eyes. Get him. All right, for all you other astigmatism fellows out there, my my astigmatism bros. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. I will never alert people to your malformed eyes. Okay. We should probably get more sticks. I don't have sheer technology, so we're gonna be punching leaves for a bit. Like these guys. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot. Someone had mentioned in the comments. Yeah, that was my aesthetically pleasing tree, and I, I just outright murdered it. I was hungry. Right, we're gonna start taking hunger damage. I wasn't thinking straight, you know? Speaking of hunger, uh, I'm doing my monthly fast. Right, I do, I do, I now, I'm gonna fall upon, uh, like a three-day fast, once a month. Uh, I'm doing it right now. So yesterday I felt kind of, uh, out of it. Oh yeah, I, I messed up, okay? So through social p pressure and, and guilt for my, for my, my birthday, I was, uh, I ate a slice of cheesecake. So there goes my whole elimination I shouldn't have done it. It did. It wasn't even like it was good. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like amazing, right? It was just like weirdly sweet and kind of like. How could I explain it? 
I liked it. Okay, don't don't misunderstand me. Oh, you hate cheesecake? Cheesecake? No, no, no. I lo I lo I love it, but it's just like it's not as good as I remember. And it wasn't bad cheesecake. It was pretty fancy cheesecake. But but like uh, I I guess I don't feel compelled to like go out of my way to eat stuff like that, which I think is probably a good thing for me in the long run. But I, that's not to say I don't enjoy my food. Like I'm very happy when I enjoy my food. Right? Because I, I always get sad when I hear people be like, I just gotta eat what I gotta eat. Or uh, whatever, I just I just inhaled it. Or I just had a whatever shake. Like, uh, that kind of makes me feel bad. Because I feel like as, as a human being, enjoying your meal is a big part of it. Right? Like, taking the time to enjoy it and, and be satisfied by it and the process of it. Um, I think that's part of the experience. So I, I'm not trying to like be like, yeah, whatever. I don't care about cheesecake. It was just like, uh, it hit different. And that's probably a good thing, I think. But, um, you know, I felt weird after eating it. Um, and I don't know if it was like a sugar rush or what, but, um, I felt like a little jittery. And then, uh, the next day, uh, I still felt fine for the most part. It didn't, like, have all these repercussions or anything. But I did feel, um unfocused more so than than lately so i wonder if that's like the effect of just eating sugar when you're not, when i'm not used to it anymore right uh but that was probably the, like the sugariest the most sugar like thing i've had in, in ages so i enjoyed it though um but anyways that i'm not fasting to the cheesecake by the way it just lined up this way um uh i i, I like i want to have a a three-day fast once per month. That's the plan, anyway. Because I like how I feel mentally. And I don't know if there's any, like, long-term effects to doing that, or if it's more of a short-term thing. But I don't see the harm in it. Right? I don't see the harm in it yet. I'm not going to get freaking malnourished, don't worry. And you're going you're gonna to get malnourished, you're going to get refeeding syndrome. No, 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 we're going to be fine. All right, settle down. It's just part of what the ends-isms are, okay? I'm just doing some ends activities. Now, let me make sure that there's no bears nearby, dude. It's been a while since we walked around here. Looks in the clear to me. Oh, yeah, I saw a, uh... I don't usually check my Twitter, but I was I was looking into things because I need to be more responsible as a stream man. And I happen to see, like, a, a Twitter post on them. I don't know if it's been there a while. I don't pay attention to Twitter. Um... But there's a post because I follow the the vintage story devs, and they had a cool art piece of like a a drifter dog, right? And they made they hinted at it being evasive, right? Like it might like get in your house or something. So that's spooky. So that's good news for people like me that enjoy like you know stuff like that. But uh, it might be bad news for people that don't. So I hope that like. I think what they should add, and this shouldn't be a mod, this should be part of the game. Well, there's a mod for- I don't care. It should be part of the game. Because of the nature, this this game has a niche audience, but it's a broad... It's broad in the sense of the type of people that can enjoy this game. Like, people that enjoy hardcore survival, people that enjoy homesteading or building in a more rewarding kind of setting, enjoy this game. So I feel like if they continue down the path of adding, like, different creatures and different ways to interact with them, they need to have more customization for them. Right? What I mean is, like, different sliders or maybe even... Uh, AI is a bit much, but, like, just different settings for them. And then have a very orderly manner within the UI to keep track of it. Not just, like, this long-ass thing to scroll down. Like, have some tabs, tab through it, like what you want like that sort of setup um it is complicated right i understand that but i think in the long run it's worth it for a game like this because like i said while it may be a niche audience i do believe that the the scope of the type of person that can enjoy this game is broad in the sense of what they get out of it um so i think if they if they lean in lean in on like weird creatures and stuff that could be invasive to, to your, your play style, um, they should consider that. But, whatever. What do I know? I ain't no programsman. I'm just a regular guy. 
But yeah, I saw that. I was very excited for it. So I hope it I hope it turns out good. And I hope it isn't like 50 years down the line or something. Uh maybe 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 it's not real. I didn't read the post or anything. Maybe it's just like, oh, this is just some concept art we were uh we had back then. Who knows? I wasn't paying attention. I just saw it. I was like, oh that's cool. So maybe I'm just like over speculating. But that's you know, internet problem of idiots like me that don't know how to read. Reading! What do you mean with like with my mind? Alright. Uh hold on a moment. Like interruption. You know, I have a bad habit, right? I, I didn't even pause, dude. There could have been like 99 bears. Maybe I set myself on fire with my kiln. Ah! Like, come back on burning, rolling on the ground. Cold guy, what's wrong? I'm hot! Ah, uh, dodged the bullet there. Sorry for the distraction. Alright. Let's get this stuff going, dude. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for like the non one hour long episodes it's just stuff keeps happening and i end up falling behind on the recordings but i'm pretty dedicated to getting the weekly episode up uh just like life and things like that and i've been thinking about like putting in more effort for my stream but like time it's a weird thing where i gotta like stream less to up the quality of my stream. I don't know if this makes sense. But I don't want to do that yet. I'm very, very much... I'm stubborn. And I don't want to miss a day, right? You guys, for those of you that have been with me, you guys know I stream every day. I don't want to miss a day, dude. I want to keep the combo going for as long as possible. Why? I don't know why. Um... I, I am thinking about, like, redoing our greenhouse. I'm not going to mess with it now. But, uh... I'm thinking about, like, uh... Maybe I'll remove all of the... As we expand it, I'll knock down a wall. And I'll expand in that direction. And I only want the ceiling to be, uh... What's it called? Ice? Um, once we start getting more materials to build our house with... Because, you know, I don't want to live in a dirt cube, dude. That's disgusting. I want to have more personality than that. But uh, I'm still concerned about the food situation. I, I'll probably go hunting again. But let me think about what we have lined up here. I see we go get some wood and a lot of sticks and bring that stuff back. I gotta get this stuff lit. My bad. Might start a fire over here. This grass. I'll cut that grass in a moment. I don't want to start a chain reaction of bullshit here. So I'm all over the place like always, losing my train of thought. I wonder if anybody expects me to edit out stuff like that. I mean, if they're on this episode, they have to know I'm not going to edit out anything. Not for these videos. You know, it's part of the drama. Is Zen's going to get killed while AFK? I'm going to make sure just to keep you guys on your toes. I'm just going to say this now. The episode we do get killed in... I'm going to make sure it's a normal length episode so you don't know that. Alright? So you'll see like... Oh, 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, that's like... A, that's a, about average for a cold guy episode. Dies immediately in two minutes. Then it's just going to be a black screen. Maybe it'll be a montage of all the memories we have with old cold guy. Right? Something like that. Just to keep you on your toes. No, don't do it, Enzo. I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, let's make a hatchet. And let's go... Get some wood. We're going to bring back a wood supply because we've got to start processing charcoal as well. I don't want a large amount of weed. Let's be careful because we don't know what kind of wool elves there are out there. Or deranged maniac bears. Right? Maybe they added a, a creature that we don't know about. I would love that for them to do that. I think a lot of players would get mad though. Especially permanent de death players. But, you know, fuck them. What are they going to do about it? Cry? 
You know what the devs should do? The devs should add a creature, but not tell anybody. A very low, rare rate creature that spawns in. Maybe don't make them deadly, just make them annoying. Right? Just make them like, you know, they're always they're like a hide behind. You guys know what a hide behind is? A hide behind is a is a cryptid that that uh the concept is that it's always behind a tree. So like you feel a presence, you're like, oh! Right, but he's just like just behind a tree peeking at you. Maybe you'll see their little fingers or something. Right, hugging a tree. And no matter what angle you try to get on them, even if there's other people, somehow the hide behind is always behind the tree. Right? They should have a hide behind. A hide behind drifter. Right? So they just always constantly behind something. And when they're present, what's an annoying thing they could do? They move stuff. Or or something. Like maybe maybe that like where they are, it'll grab something that you placed on the ground or against the wall. Maybe some sort of specific thing, something on a tool rack, <laughs> and then just move it where they were, or something. And then and then like uh, you're like shit. Where's my where's my steel pick? God, that would I would hate that so much. It'd be the best. It'd be the absolute best, dude. You never want an ends mod, is what this sounds like, right? God damn, Enz has some terrible mod ideas. The hide behind mod. Right? You're playing cold guy. <laughs> Fucking hide behind. But like like I said, this is a I have a strong opinion on this. Any survival game. All difficulties and challenges need to have a solution. All of them. Including the the hide behind. So the hide hide behind. Oh, no, it was a pup. I thought it was a bunny. Well. Do foxes have, like, meat flesh on them? Like, baby foxes? I somehow doubt it. We'll check in a moment. Let's make a, uh, a knife. Hold on. Um, getting a phone call. One minute. Actually, remember to keep my phone on mute from yesterday's stream. Okay. And you're going to edit that, right? You're going to edit that out? What? Why? What am I, some sort of professional YouTuber? All right, I'm not a professional. I'm an unprofessional YouTuber. Okay? I don't do all the YouTube things. Bells and whistles? What? I just talk to you and play a game. That's it. That's all that ever happens here. Why am I here? Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna carve up this babby that we uh, speared, dude. Where is he? There he is. Lol. Uh, did I murder you for nothing? Did I slay for nothing? The answer is yes. Well, I guess no. We could turn it to compost. <laughs> right? I mean, who doesn't want compost for their garden? I'm a I'm a I'm a ve I'm a vegan. Makes compost out of baby foxes. Uh, I only eat uh, stuff from the garden that I grow. Uh, speaking of, my tomatoes sprouted, dude. My tomatoes sprouted. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I've grown, like, small stuff. But I've never grown anything that's, like, substantial. Like a, a, like a fruit, a vegetable. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. The little sprouts. I planted six. And it uh, looks like uh, four out of the six made it. And uh, I might have dropped like an extra seed. Uh, you're supposed to use two to three. I just did one. Because I wanted to see like, okay, is this guy going to make it? And I think I might have dropped more than one seed by accident. Because these seeds were really small. Uh, into the, the container I put them in. And I had to like decapitate one. I was like, look, you're going to get in the way. You got to go. You're both not going to make it with messed up roots. And you, there's a like a way of planting them like on the corners, near the corners, so you could split them later. But I didn't want to do that. So I had to decapitate them. I ended its, its leafy career day one. 
Um, yeah. Let's go see if we can get some wood before it gets too dark. I'm just gonna murk these. I want to start processing charcoal tonight, and I don't want to go for like a long walk. Is there any resin here? Probably punch out all the sticks we could get too. Right? To avoid those long walks. I wonder if any trees are even gonna grow out here. I don't know, does anybody- I guess I could check a sapling. Has anything even turned to a sapling? I have no idea. Let's see, can I slap this down and see? It says- it just says sprout in three days. It doesn't say like a temperature. Maybe the guide will say so. But we all know I'm not gonna bring that up and read it. We all know this. Put this down. What kind of night is it? It seems it's calm tonight, so I should be able to safely, uh... Do my nightly activities. But because it's dark and low line of sight, I'm not going to risk getting mauled by bears or wolves. So we're going to just hang out back here and punch out these leaves. <clears throat> yeah, my tomatoes are coming in. Uh, I ended up being really cheap. So I and, and like a little bit multi-purpose. But I ended up buying some... Some solo cups. I bought really big ones. The big variety. And I'm going to use these party cups to, uh... <laughs> I'm going to use them to to use them as planters, right? Because these seedlings, I'm going to... I'm going to... Because I planted them kind of early, right? And I'm, I'm growing them inside my, my house. They're in my room right now. I had an old grow light that I used... That I had for my succulent. Right? My succulent... I thought it died. And I, I threw out... I threw it out in my backyard. And it was somehow, like, alive. A haunting... I don't know if you knew this about Vintage Story, but uh, it really hates my blog posts. So it kills me with bears, or, or sends poltergeist after me. Like this one. But yeah, like, um... Anyways, I got these, uh... Solo cups, the red party cups. And I'm gonna use that to, to put them up. I think that's the lingo. To put them up. Um, like, upgrade their space. I already have the dirt and soil lined up as well. Um, doing this, like, has me interested in trying other plants. But I don't even know if I'll be successful or if I even like this yet. Right? Because there's going to be a lot of effort. Um, I have three 10-gallon bags. Grow bags. With little handles on them so I can move them if I have to. Ready. Uh, I'm not sure how heavy these bags will be, especially if they're, like, damp soil. But, um, I think I'll be able to move it. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out how out of, sh out of shape I am. I don't know how heavy or light that is. I don't have a concept of that. Like, I could I imagine... It's like, I imagine holding one gallon, it's like, oh, that's nothing. But, like, when you hold ten gallons, it's annoying. Like, I'm talking about, like, a gallon, like a jug. Um, but, like, I wonder if that's more because of how you're gripping them versus, like, the actual weight, you know? So, anyways... Um, I have those right up. These are interderm inter indeterminate, indeterminate. I think that's the word. I always forget the word. Indeterminate variety. Um, the, the, the predicted length is about like four or five feet, something like that. Um, for this one, allegedly. But I think the whole point of it is that it just keeps growing. So, I have a good amount of like trellis materials ready I don't, i'm getting ahead of myself like who knows if i'll even get that far maybe they'll die or something or maybe we'll never get that far but i'm ready i'm ready for that stuff um i'm excited for it i hope i hope it works out i ended up getting uh like some fancy seed from like a website uh and it's like a paste variety because i wanted paste variety because i want to cook with it. Um, I want to make like sauces and I want to cook with it because I like using tomatoes and, and, I, and everything. I like tomatoes a lot. I even like ketchup. Uh, people scoff at me for ketchup. I'll put ketchup on a lot of things, man. I'll put it on eggs sometimes. I put it on hot dogs. It just, honestly, it's more variety. I don't like always have ketchup on a hot dog. Sometimes it's just mustard. Sometimes it's just grilled onions or maybe it'll be like mustard ketchup. Maybe like Chicago style. Maybe it's a chili dog. Maybe it's a cheese dog. 
But uh, I just like variety, and I, I I'm a thorough enjoyer of ketchup. As a as a uncultured American, I do love me some ketchup. But um, people always scoff at ketchup. And now I used to be like offended, or not offended, that's the wrong way to put it. I used to be, uh, I used to feel bad about myself, right? Eh! My brother did this to me, and it really annoyed the hell out of me. Um, a long time ago, I went to uh, a baseball game with him and his uh, lady friend at the time. And I got ketchup and mustard on my hot dog. And then they just would not shut the fuck up. Ugh, ketchup on your hot dog? And it just annoyed the hell out of me. And it created like a pet peeve. So whenever people like shun other people's food or my food, it, I find it irritating. Right? Like, eh, gross. I hate this. Like, it's fine to dislike something. Like, I always talk about things I dislike. Like, I, every time I try sushi, it's hard for me to enjoy. But I don't like dunk on people for liking sushi. You know what I mean? So like, uh, I, I get that. I have this weird pet peeve of like getting irritated when people are like, uh, Onions! Onions in my whatever? Oh, there's a motorcycle guy outside. I don't know if that's picking up or not. Deranged motorcycle guy. He's famous on my stream. People love him. Damn it. Double damn it. Triple damn it. One, one tile up. Mm -mm. But yeah, I, I I like ketchup. I like tomato stuff in general. Like if it if it was just marinara sauce, I could eat that with a spoon. Like if it's good marinara, I'll just eat it with a spoon, dude. Like if there's like a little bit left and I had no bread, I'm out of garlic bread or something. I don't care. I'll just eat it. Um, well, maybe I do care. Like if there's other people, I don't want them to see me like eating spoons of marinara or something, right? But if I'm by myself in my own home, I'll do it. Right? If I was like. At a shitty restaurant or something, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like just bust out the spoon and just like, you know, ladle that into my mouth. But uh, you know, I have some standards. All right, I have, I have some standards, alleged standards, of how I behave. That's just like along the lines of like uh, how you eat in private versus like with other people around. Right? Like, there are certain foods that I'm too embarrassed about. This might be a more of a social anxiety thing. Right? Like, I, I, put, I care too much what other people think. You guys told me that before. So I have, so I have my viewers. Um, like... I would not eat ribs, like barbecue ribs, in a public setting. Just because I don't want to deal with the napkins and, and the cleanup and being dirty. And then, like, resisting the urge to lick my fingers. Right? Uh, I just don't want to have... I don't want to eat barbecue in a public setting. So I, I tend to avoid foods like that, like finger foods that are like messy or whatever. Maybe that's why I'm a big fan of sandwiches. I love sandwiches. Although I haven't had bread in a while. Did have a slice of cheesecake though. Damn, man. I felt like I had good self-control. I... I definitely let others control me way too much, dude. Because I let, I let, I let that push me to do it. Oh well, it's fine. It was, it was whatever. I'm gonna see. I'm, I'm already rationalizing it. I say, well, it was just for my birthday. Whatever. It's over, dude. When I die tomorrow, I'll just know that I ate a slice of cheesecake and I, I died instantly. All right, insta gypped. All right, it was like a, a game of uh, Quake, just exploded into awful. Hey, this is pretty good. Boom. Well, it's over. Yeah. I'm I'm happy that I ate something that's bad for me and I didn't feel like shit, right? I just felt weird in terms of like my body's probably like, "Hey, look at this influx of like efficient energy usage with all these sugars and, and carbohydrates." Right? So my body was probably like maybe it was that that's why I felt that way, but whatever. Okay, we got a an amount of wood. Let's go ahead and start prepping since it's a peaceful night tonight. Let's start making some charcal. We can do some heavy metal. We can do some heavy metal activities sooner than later. 
Uh, where should we do it? Let's just do it right here for now. We don't need to go too far for this stuff. Damn, there's just rock right here. If that's the case, we'll do it right here. How deep? Uh, we don't need a big pit. Let's just get something modest. Let's do a simple 2x2. Uh, two two. We don't need anything too fancy. Now we're going to need more wood for this. Nowhere near enough. That's okay. I wonder if I have any inside. I might have left some inside. No. Get in there. Uh, should we go risk getting killed? I'm okay with processing a bunch of grass. Uh, I want to have like a minimalistic kind of uh, presentation to our base. When we do start doing that stuff. Now, wasn't there a peat deposit nearby? God, I really gotta remember where all these things are. It sucks, because I only play this once a week. I, I guess I could record it multiple episodes in a row. But you guys heard my opinion on that. I want to see what you guys have to say. So that way I could know what I'm ignoring instead of like... I don't mean like ignoring, that's the wrong way to put it. I know what advice I'm not heeding. That way you guys could be like, I told you so, we told you! Right? When I finally mess up, it's like, you guys were right. Then you guys could get a... Get a, get a, I told you ends satisfaction, right? But, um... I don't know, maybe I'll stop doing that. Planting these trees nearby might be a bad idea, but we can move them. Once they spread up, we can move them later. Okay, I'm thinking that we do some pottery tonight. Or we cut grass. Right, to be efficient with our energy. So, it's definitely going to be a bad episode of just cutting the lawn. Angie, could you edit this out, please? No. This is securing the homestead. We're going to double cut this grass so we have less tall grass nearby. Alright? It'll help our line of sight. It'll reduce the chances of, like, shadows and stuff. And I think shadows lead to, uh, drifter spawns. The rifts. I don't actually know the, the mechanic. I heard conflicting information all the time when I stream and ask these questions. And then, to be quite honest with you, I also forget what people say. Right? It's like, oh yeah, I've I asked this, and I remember this specific guy telling me three times. It does happen. Let's get the stuff uh, nearby the house first. Stabs. Tries to stab Raft. Sorry, my end senses were tingling. Check behind you for bears, they told me. Mm -mm. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, the plants, I got all that ready. I've been like watching YouTube videos to learn about it and reading stuff here and there. I studied my prostates for, for crops in my area. And my tomato frost state, the last frost is, uh, actually, is today the 15th? It's actually tonight for tomatoes in particular. There's one more frost next month where it does get pretty cold. But, um, for the most part, I'm set. Uh, I'm going to move my plants outside. Once I upgrade them to the silo cups, the solo cups, I always call them silo cups, the solo cups, um, I'm going to move them outside every now and then. Just to get a hint of sunlight, and then bring it back inside to the grow light and, and inside weather. And then um, I'll do that once they're ready to upgrade to the big one. Right, the big ones? I have four, and I want to give them all a good chance at growing, but I'll only have three of these grow bags prepared. I'm not going to buy another one. I'm just going to like poke holes in a bucket and see, what, see if that works, but uh, we'll see. Let's make more knife technology. So I'm looking forward to that. Wish me luck on that. I, I'm very excited to like grow something, eat it, cook with it, try to preserve it. Right? I'm going to try to preserve it. If I do get a, a substantial amount, I, I've been looking different ways of making tomato paste. Because um, I like cooking with tomato paste. So I want to try making my own. That'd be kind of badass. Uh, so that's the idea. I'll probably try to... I'll probably... I'm, I'm a little paranoid about canning them because I, I don't know... The canning process, I have no practice with. And it seems like such a volatile way to, like... 
Like, if you do it wrong, guess what? You're eating a, a mouthful of fungus or whatever. Mold. Um, so I, I'm going to wait on the canning. I want to try making tomato paste because I could cook down a bunch of tomatoes to tomato paste, right? So I'll try. I'll start with tomato paste, I think. And then I'll just try to eat the rest or maybe give it away if I have a lot. That'd be a nice problem to have. I like how I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm getting my hopes up, aren't I? But here, here's more me getting ahead of myself. After having fun, just like seeing the little sproutlings, I was like, okay, wait a minute. What else? What What do I need to make my own marinara sauce? Like 100%. The main things would be like, maybe, maybe garlic, onion, basil, right? Like if I wanted to do like most of it, I made myself, like I grew everything. Garlic and onions are basically the same thing, right? After looking into them, they grow the same way in the same environment, the same season. And then similar way, you even preserve them. Like uh, when you cure them, you, you, you leave them out in the sun to dry out the same way. So I'm thinking if the tomatoes succeed and I like doing it, right after tomato season, I'm gonna go into the onion garlic. And maybe I'll, I'll, I have an area in my backyard that I could make into an elevated, it's actually, the way my backyard's set up is that like, there's an elevated patch of ground behind a little bit of cement work. So it's naturally ele elevated. Um, so, so I think the water will drain out on its own because of that, I think. So I wonder if I could just treat that as like, just dig it up and, and then like, you know, fix up the soil. And see if I could treat that as an elevated garden. But my instinct says that like it might be better to just have a proper elevated garden for it. So if I enjoy the tomato stuff and, and money willing, um, I might try to make a very rudimentary elevated plot. And just have like a row of garlic and a row of onions. Uh, and see how that work turns out. And if I manage to preserve them, preserving them doesn't seem too tough. It seems like, uh, it depends on, you can eat them in different states too, right? Like you could have like onion, garlic, I forget the term, where it's just like a sprout, right? You could eat it that way. Um, but uh, you just, apparently, you can like braid them and just hang them up somewhere. Uh, or you could just lay them out on a table in the sun. Uh, and I live in a very hot climate, so I think I could pull that off. Uh, in terms of bugs, I don't really have a lot of bugs. But maybe once I start gardening, I'll attract bugs. Apparently a bug threat is like a moth. I do see giant, big-ass moths sometimes. Right? But not a lot. But if I have like a tomato plant, are they going to start dropping their caterpillars down here? I don't know. Was it the horned caterpillar? I don't know, I, I would like to see weird bugs. As long as they don't, like, harm me, maybe I'll regret this, right? My tomatoes! My begonias! Right, I'll, I'll get upset. But uh, right now, it'd be kind of cool to see weird bugs. Anyways. If I do like the tomato stuff, uh, I might go, I might try garlic and onions. Basil's pretty easy. Like, I've grown things like basil before. Um, but maybe, so, uh, you know, I may as well just try basil now. Why not? I think it might be a little bit early, but it's an indoor plant, right? It's an indoor climate, should be fine. So maybe I'll just give it a shot. Why not? If I'm going to have tomatoes, it'd be a great plant to have alongside my tomatoes, right? When I cook with stuff and eat it, eat it. I like this idea. Anyways, that's on the ends extra hobby front. No one cares, ends. All right, all right, fine. I need something to talk to you guys about while I chop up this grass like an idiot. We're going to use this as building materials. Um, how do you guys feel about, remember, for those of you that saw it, uh, if you remember, the, the non-cold guy area. We do like a sod setup. I think it would look cool for a survival situation. Uh, it would cost a lot of materials, but, I mean, we gotta build something, right? How about this? 
How, if we live long enough and if we end up living here, okay? What if we make, we build this into a, a more proper home? So I want to have something compact. I want to have like one, like a two-story abode. We'll make it out of like wood or something or maybe cobble on the bottom. And then the second floor, maybe we can make it out of a different material. If we could score plaster, I doubt it. But, uh, and then let's have it be like an overhang. I really like those weird medieval buildings that have an overhang above them, right? So then we could have our living space could be up top and then like maybe our cooking and storage area could be on bottom without having to build a basement. Um, I don't know if I want an outdoor forge for cold guy, right? Cause that, uh, because of the cold, it might be very uh, intrusive, but we'll see. We'll see on that front, right? So I kind of want like that kind of house uh, and then here, how about for the garden, let's put that inside of the sod, right? We'll use the sod, we'll do this stuff, right? And we'll put it like around this height from, from like a slope. It'll look like we're attached to a slope and we can have the slope wrap around the house a little bit. Not completely, just a little bit. And then our greenhouse is actually inside this uh, sod slope. And on the ceiling, we'll have the ice. Right? And maybe it'll look kind of cool that way. And then to like make it look a little bit cooler, maybe we could grow, maybe we could knock out some of these pieces and just have little patches of dirt here and there around it and grow trees out of it. Right? And there'll be like trees surrounding our greenhouse. So when we're inside our greenhouse and we look up, we're like, ah, oh, shit, that looks awesome. Right? Uh, that's my idea. Will we live long enough to do any of this? Probably not. But I like this idea. Let's see if I forget about it with some time. I do tend to forget about things. I've been known to forget stuff. I've been accused of being forgetful. Ants, did you forget already? Uh, possibly, yes. There's a good chance I did forget. Do I have enough here? No, we're just short. Yeah, we're just short a little bit. I'm gonna try to go find a nearby tree so we can get this going. The sooner the better. So much for our aesthetically pleasing trees, dude. <clears throat> They're all getting murked today. Um, but we could find a better area, though. Right? If that happens, it happens. Um, what I'm concerned about is the hunt. There's a forested area there that maybe we could go hunting with, for. Right? Gotta get to the woods. Gotta go hunting. Walking in the dark is not ideal. I'm only doing this because I have somewhat good line of sight in this area. I think we're gonna murk this tree, dude. I need the weed. We already recovered lots of sticks. And we have a heavy forest, or a dense forest, uh, where we had almost got killed by that bear last time. Okay, uh, things that annoy me about glasses. Alright, remember, I'm a glasses noob. I've been upgraded. My vision was upgraded. All right, I'm a now a bionic man. Uh, the only thing that's been bothering me, I, I'm lucky in that it's comfortable. Uh, I had some concerns raised about wearing it with uh, headphones because I wear over the head headphones when I stream or capture. They haven't hurt my ears or anything, so I, I lucked out there. Um, I don't have any pain on the bridge of my nose or anything like that either. Um, so I lucked out there as well. But I do find I don't have any like vision pain either. Like, oh my eyeballs. Um It's the smudges, dude. I keep accidentally like touching my lenses. I was like, God damn, now I gotta wipe this down. Right? And it's just enraging me. I hope that my ends brain eventually learns, because if it doesn't, my god. It's so like I'm tired of spending the time to wipe them down. So I'm hoping uh I get better better habits, right? I need to develop my my glasses mannerisms. My lens mannerisms. To uh, stop like touching my lenses inadvertently. Uh, I need more knife knife technology. Yep. I haven't been uh I've been bad about studying, dude. It's been about a week, roughly a week since I properly studied. I've been busy, man. I've been busy. And then like That's just an excuse. I got to I got to make more time. 
I'll be honest. I get motivated to do stuff like uh, looking after the tomatoes or studying stuff about the plants or um, practicing a game that I really like. And I end up being bad anyway. That's what happened yesterday, by the way. I ended up doing like a 11, 10 hour stream because uh, I got obsessed with trying to beat this game. What sucks is I'm bad at games now, man. Right? I'm so bad at games. It didn't let me put it down here. So maybe it needs more wood. Let's see if it needs more, like another log. Yep. Let me make sure these are all... Okay. Need some packed dirt for this. Get our Sharkel going. Hmm. Get some more packed dirt. Do I have any lying around? Maybe in this basket. We have regular soil dirt. Where's my shovel? It's about to blow up. But yeah, uh... I, I just get distracted or my focus shifts, right? I, I haven't given up yet. I'm gonna get back to it. It's just like... Basically, whenever there's a game update... I don't know. I really gotta, like, give something up. I gotta give something up. I have... Uh, I love action games so much, dude. But I'm so bad at them. And no matter how much I pr I'm a slow learner, no matter how much I practice, I, I plateau and I can never get past a certain point in skill. Um, so yesterday I, I, I spent like 10 hours just trying to play a game. I did eventually clear what I needed to clear. And I did play this morning because I wanted to and I did like way better. There is a debuff when you stream, dude. When you stream, there is a debuff of like skill, ability. But um... At least I had fun. I like that game too, but I don't have high hopes. It was like a pre-alpha of something. It was called Vindictus. If you know what Vindictus is, there's like an alpha of a non-Vindictus -Vindict Vindictus game. I don't know. They were very unclear, but it's like an alpha. Is this going? Yeah. All right, the shark kel is on its way. Okay. And then we could do some forge forge work. Uh, we got more of our kilns going. Next episode, we're gonna go hunting. No, you know what? Next episode, we're gonna go scouting for hunting. And if we have a target of opportunity, we'll take it. But we're gonna mostly go gather a bunch of wood. I wanna, I wanna get an, a wood stockpile going over here. Um, and I want to, uh, hopefully when we come back, the storage vessels will be done. And we have a spot to dump the logs. I want a supply of logs here so we can start building our, our humble abode. Okay, I want to I want to build something. Um, I really want a foundation of cobble though, so we might also keep an eye out for ruins. I really don't want it to be this kind of cobble. It's kind of gross, but we might have to use that. Uh, I'm hoping to find any sort of like granite type stuff, right? Something like that, uh, like a lighter colored version, or we could go full mud bricks. That'd be very fancy. It'll, I think uh, Mud Bricks will give us more of a dungeon vibe. I got accused of building a dungeon home. But we'll see. Um, but that's it. That's it for, for this week's episode. I feel terrible. Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. Not a single damn thing again. But at least we have our kiln going. We have our plans. I got my watering can. Oh, shit. I'm going to brisk uh, some third degree burns here. Had to be done. Had to be done. All right, this should satisfy a lot of people. It's minus eight. Okay. I'm not going to punch through this wall, but we really should water them. Okay, we should water them. I think watering them is a higher priority. I was going to say, maybe we could wait until it's warmer in the day before we punch through. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's moisten these guys up. All right. I watered the garden this episode. Finally watched an ends video. Finally watched... Well, we did get a greenhouse effect going here, right? It said plus five. Stunted. Stunted due to a cold. That makes sense. That was a cabbage. Right, our cabbage, cabbage fellas aren't going to really make it. 
Soon we'll have bucket technology anyway. I still have those threads, right? The threads I almost threw away. <clears throat> I might have to do like an extended... Okay, I don't know how... I want to hear input on this. I might do a special episode of Cold Guy live on my stream. And we'll call it Cold Guy Live! Right? And then we'll have chat on the bottom right. And I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And on that episode of Cold Guy, I'll make a shitload of progress. Or should I keep it like YouTube style Cold Guy? Right? I I'm thinking like maybe we should do an episode like that every now and then to try to get a jump in like uh, the tedious aspects of whatever we're doing. Maybe if, I, if it's another like travel arc or another building arc or just like simple stuff. Um, like not all the time. I don't want to make it something that I always do it when I need progress. I just want to do it every now and then to make a large chunk of progress. Um, let me know what you guys think about that idea. All right, let me know how you see that, how you perceive that concept. Um, I think this will still count as a greenhouse, right? So we're going to reseal this with grass. All right, boys, uh, that's that's it for this week. I'm sorry. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Next week, let's go logging and hunting. And we'll be checking in on the garden. We're going to hopefully have uh, everything we need to start our metal work. Right? Our charcoal's on the way. And we want to make some uh, mission critical tools. We're going to make a saw blade. And maybe, I don't know what else. Nails? We're going to make nails and a saw blade for sure. 100%. Get a, a pro pick, a prospecting pick, so we can see what's around us, and then maybe we can do looking for some uh, some tin before we start investing uh, all of our copper. 